Christmas way, darkness falls and we all pray, hoping for the light of day, down to the river, I have held the devil's hand, felt the weight of my own sin, burdened by the heart of man, down to the river, down to the river. Check out what this coyote did. This is probably my most interesting coyote hunt ever. This reddish, reddish colored coyote here. When I come up here closer, there's a lot of unusual colors in this coyote as I come closer. From that video, it didn't, it didn't really look that way. I'll come up and do a close up here. But I came back up here, Thor 5 XD. I got, the, got it new, two to whatever, two to 20. Trying to get you some footage the other day and it was raining and it was 100% humidity. I had my rain jacket over my AR, and that caused a mistake. I didn't close my bolt the whole way. I snuck down over here in this other field and had a coyote come up. He's seen me in the, in the full moon, seen me. I took the, took the shot, but my bolt wasn't closed the whole way. Click, and that coyote took off. So I came back here on a really nice thermal night, nice and cold. That's the coyote I was after. Pulled in here nice and early, I think about 6.30. Went down that way, and as I'm walking down there, coyote ran across that field, went the same exact way that last one did. I'm going down there in that area, I dropped my call off, about 100, about 70 yards away from a, there's a water trough there, the water trough you've seen in that first video whenever I did that click. That water trough I was going to go set up by, but I seen that coyote in that other field. So what I did is I slid down to that wood line, 120 yards away from my collar, Coyote is up on top the uh, up on top the ridge line, so I can't shoot. It's actually over toward the owner's house. I want to get him to come down that hill a little bit. So I turn around, Boone Hill Lone Howl on my Fox Pro Patriot. That coyote looks, doesn't move, but back here, two of them just started sounding off, yipping, howling. I turned the video on just to see if I could get. Hopefully, I got some of the response. But they're back in here just going crazy. I'm probably about 200 yards away from where my collar was. The coyote I was watching went back over the hill, didn't come in. Another group sounded off. What I decided to do is come over after these two that I heard. That way I could go after those next time I come up here. So I slide up over here, and as I'm coming this way, the wind is blowing from my right to my left, and I know there's a lake here. So I want to keep my wind blowing right at the lake, heading right toward the house that we're going on, scanning and watching to see if they're coming toward my calling. I popped up over the top of the hill, and I seen right on the quarter the lake, these two coyotes, they were like a buck, okay? They laid with the lake to their back and the wind blowing up and lit, sniffing. You know, I got video of them smelling. They could smell any danger coming this way. Anything coming this way and is going to be into the lake. And I'm sliding up nice and close. And he, she catches me. Catches me moving, doesn't know exactly what I am. Gets up, move, gets up, move. Bam, drop her right on the shoreline here. Right on this shoreline. I make a loop around. The other one took off somewhere. I don't know. Loop around and I'm coming up through here and I found a, I get, I don't know what it is, a, a, a woodcock, long bill, dead one up in here. And then when I shot, a couple birds took up off the lake. So I don't know if they're in here hunting. I don't know if they're in here eating these woodcocks that have died, dead woodcock down there. I have no idea why, why it's even here, but I got a nice, it's a blondish, You'll see whenever I come in here nice and close. A blondish red color coyote. And dropped another one. Back out after deer in the next couple days with Hunter. And we're going to keep on rolling here. We're moving into December. I think I need something 20, 23, 25 kills to make 100. If I don't make 100, we're having a great year this year. If I don't make 100, that's fine. Like, subscribe.
Thanks for watching. Much more coming 2023. With a piece in my hand and bloodshot eyes I walk to the water for a last goodbye He begged so much, it clouded my mind One thing's clear, the man's gotta die Man makes right, so he said When he held all the keys over our head I lived in that grip, but now he'll learn At the end of the table's turn Lord, forgive me Take me off